when looking at how radio waves are transmitted and received there are a number of different things that we need to think about so the first thing that happens is that we've got a sound wave and it comes in and it's converted into an audio wave in the microphone so when you speak you produce sound wave or sound waves of various frequencies right so that goes and it varies the modulation of the alternating current that is generated by the microphone that is then sent down series of wires to a transmitter so in a radio station the microphone produces an alternating current which is sent to the transmitter also in the transmitter you get a carrier wave that is generated by an oscillator so a carrier wave is going to be the wave that goes and carries the signal in the form of the radio wave so an oscillator supplies a carrier waves to the transmitter in the form of an alternating current right if we remember an alternating current is alternating is going backwards and forwards relatively quickly so that goes and moves up to the transmitter so the audio signal is supplied to the transmitter where it's used to modulate the carrier wave so that goes and it alters the carrier wave so the carrier wave now has a similar configuration or a similar shape to that audio wave so this audio this modulated carrier wave is then sent up the aerial where it's converted into a radio wave so the modulated carrier wave from the transmitter is applied to the area the varying alternating current supplied to the area causes it to emit a radio wave that has the same signal as that modulated carrier wave so then that signal is then transmitted where eventually it will be picked up by a receiver so when the radio waves are absorbed by the receiver area they induce an alternating current in that area which causes oscillations in the receiver so the receiver so the frequency of the oscillations is the same as the frequency of the radio wave the receiver goes and it extracts the carry wave from it so we're just left with an audio wave this then to go and turn it back into our sound wave so the receiver circuit separates the audio signal from the carrier wave so the audio signal is then supplied to a loudspeaker which converts that audio wave back into a sound wave and that is a brief summary about how radio waves are produced and transmitted